constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the June sky. In the evening, look for the reddish glow of Mars in the southwestern sky. Telescopes help to bring out its bright and dark features. Fainter Saturn follows behind Mars appearing higher in the southern sky in the evening. Both planets disappear below the western horizon after midnight. Turn your gaze upward to find four distinctive constellations. High overhead lies Boötes, the herdsman. Find it by looking for its prominent kite shape, which was noted by many ancient cultures. Arcturus is the fourth brightest star in the night sky. The star Epsilon Boötis is also known as Izar. In binoculars, Izar resolves into one of the finest double stars in the sky. The color contrast between the stars is striking. Just to the left of Boötes lies the northern crown, Corona Borealis. This lovely circlet of stars represents the wedding crown of Ariadne, the daughter of King Minos of Crete. While the stars are not very bright, their pattern is easy to pick out. The mythical strongman Hercules is also found high in the summer night sky, wielding his mighty weapons. The constellation is rather dim. Look for its lopsided square of four stars called the Keystone. The Keystone in Hercules is the key to finding one of the brightest globular star clusters in the summer night sky. The wonderful Hercules cluster, also known as M13, contains about a million stars. Outside the Keystone lies another magnificent globular cluster of stars, M92. Globular clusters are collections of closely packed, gravitationally bound stars.
Draco, the dragon, winds his way through the northern sky. The dragon's head is a skewed square of stars. Look for the dimmest of the corner stars. In binoculars, it resolves into two stars, which look like a bright pair of headlights. Jupiter makes an appearance in the early morning sky as it peeks over the eastern horizon just before sunrise. It will appear higher as the month progresses. Venus sneaks up to Jupiter near the end of the month. Challenge yourself to find it in the morning twilight. On June 4th, a partial lunar eclipse will be visible for sky gazers in most of Asia, Australia, and the Americas. The moon will pass into the outer portion of Earth's shadow, darkening it. On June 5th to 6th, an extremely rare alignment will take place. Venus will pass in front of the sun during this celestial event, called a transit, observers will see the black silhouette of Venus slowly cross the face of the Sun. Most of North America will see the beginning of the transit in the afternoon and evening of June 5th, whereas much of Eurasia will see all or just the end of the transit in the morning on June 6th. This year's Venus transit is the second and final one of the 21st century. The previous transit was on June 8, 2004. Transits of Venus happen in pairs, eight years apart. The next set of transits will occur in 2117 and 2125. The night sky is always a celestial showcase. Explore its wonders from your own backyard.